Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a 3D stall activation. So first of all, I have 3D Studio Max and I'm going to draw my box with the parameter of 10 by 20. I'm going to make it 20%, yes, 20 feet. And height will be, I think that will be four inch. Okay, that's okay. So this time I need to take duplicates. I'm going to hold shift key and rotate them. Oops, sorry, hold shift key and rotate them like this. It's perfect. And I'm going to place it to the behind or background inside. So I think this this much better. And I love this uh, to have a decorate. So I'm going to take my tube because right now I'm going to draw my decoration piece of my straw. So take the tube and make it uh, one segment height and side will be four. So the four side will be adjusted on the stall by converting in a table poly. I'm going to adjust with the help of vertices. I'm going to take polygon. I'm going to delete the extra sides. I don't want them. So just make it to the straight and then place it down like this. So from side viewport, I can see them like this, or I'm going to give this kind of a shape. And now I will have to place it on like here. Just a little bit uh, tweaking in here, adjusting them. And this is much better. I'm going to take another duplicate. And uh, this time I will create this kind of a shape by vertices. And now I will place them like here, but I need to decrease the size of this model. So I'll take the vertices and I will adjust them like this because it is, it has to be decreasing in the size. So, okay. So this is the shape of my straw. I'm going to create a pillar as well, pillar for the support of this design. So for the support, I'm going to create the pillar and uh, I'm just going to adjust like this. And right now I'm converted to Adipal Poly and uh, have to increase increase the width and I will adjust them like that. I'm going to create uh, some segments by placing ring and I think give them a three, three segments. Perfect. But after giving the three segments, so we need to make a chamfer. Chamfer will going to dis divide these edges into two. So now I have this, I have converted this and uh, I'm going to take the polygon. No, I think the edges will be good. No, 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 this one is wrong. I have to take the edge and make it to the ring, then press control and polygon selected so I can make it extrude like this. So that's perfect. I will duplicate by holding shift key. I will duplicate by holding shift key and then place it down here to my left side and to my right side as well, both sides. So the support will be on both sides. Okay. So my next step is uh, I need to create table, uh, reception table. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool from this spline and I will draw my rectangle. 
four feet width and I think 2.6 feet height. I'm gonna convert to into editable spline. And after that, you will have to select the all vertices and make it fill it. It's like this. But after taking fill it, uh, I am going to duplicate them by holding shift key. In case the size by scaling. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to select my this part and I will apply extrude modifier like this. And now I will select my another part. I'm going to spline and make it outline to double like this. And then I will extrude. So this will be my outline. So I'm going to join them. It's like this. So I have placed it down here in the front of this table or front of this stall. I'm going to convert them into poly, make it insert and then a little bit extrude inside. All right then. So my table is complete. My next step will be, I think, uh, I'm going to import some of the object, which is I have already done modeled. And that will be my, my sofa set. Okay, so I'm applying my sofa set here. Okay, so make a duplicate and select both of them. Make another duplicate. So here I have completed my sofa set, which is something like this. I've made a group with the sofa set uh, because four sofas so I will take the chamfer box to create the center table between these sofa set something like this I think two fit is enough and uh, to fit 2.6 this will be good okay I'm going to take the another duplicate to create the glass of the table it will be my glass So I have placed this down here and now this time I have to take cylinder and I will draw a cylinder uh, as a leg of this uh, table. So now I have placed it down the cylinder. And uh, now from here. So the both table sides. Now I have modeled this table as well. So from now on, uh, <coughs> I only need to adjust them. Oops. I only need to adjust them like this and uh, take the box tool and I will draw the screen, which will be my, I think five or six feet and approx eight. I think five feet is enough, eight feet width. I think this one, this good. Uh, it's just a screen behind of it uh, where you can display your product. I'm gonna take the tube and I will adjust tube as a border by converting to editable poly. And now I have uh, 
So now I have our Jedi screen. Okay. Moving toward our next step. And the next step is the import of our chairs, like bar chairs. As a receptionist, oh, I have downloaded this actually, that's why it's uh, not uh, in the proper size. So I have to resize it. So I have rotated them, I have placed them, and now, and now I'm going to take my duplicates to the behind side. like this so this time I'm gonna import my logo I have created this logo in Adobe Illustrator this one is my logo it's it's a logo of the battery like cars battery car or vehicle batteries so I'm gonna apply the extrude modifier and now it's extrude something like this but I don't want this I want our outline so as you can see my path is open so I have to fill this path I have to um, I don't have to open this path I have to fill them so I'm gonna go to the I think front viewport from here I will apply the refine at the vertex and I will adjoin this vertex as a weld. So now my path is filled. Same thing I'm going to do this. I'm going to weld this vertex. Make it corner and make it. So now my path is filled. Now this is my outline, my proper logo. I will adjust this logo here. Okay, that's this is much better. So guys, this time I'm going to go to the text tool and I will write the name of my product, which is called M-U-R-S-K battery, Mars battery. All right then, so just Keep the font, suitable font, which will be my thing, Time New Roman. I will copy the extrude and paste it on the text. So my text will be 3D as well. Now I have to model the top side of this just to place the main title name of the stall. Make it corner and then I will select them and make it flat as a smooth. This time I have to apply extrude modifier. Okay. Make them into poly, then take the polygon, insert them and extrude inside. Take this logo as a duplicate and place it also on the top side of it. Okay, so now I have adjusted them here. I have to place it on the main front. Well, this looks uh, much better. 
some more decoration so I need to clear the duplicate of this logo rotate them on the right side and on the left side okay same thing just take the duplicate and adjust here as well the right side so as you can see that according to the modeling point of view that we have our we have created our stall so now our model is ready so the further next step is just to create lighting shading and the texturing so i'm going to go to the render setup i will activate my v-ray here from the expert mode I will take the light cache and low preset. Adaptive subdivision, let's not filter and uh, one by four. I think that's okay. Go to the material editor and take the PDA material. And make two colors. One is white with the reflection and the second one will be blue like this and start assigning assign this blue as well And assign white as well hmm convert the floor into editable poly and make it insert more insert then insert more insert so by this we can have uh, we can create these lines into the blue color just as a decoration beauty purpose assign blue okay so these underlines is are going to be blue as well like the same and these logo will be I think white color logo all right all right then now I'm going to take the new material which is v 2 sided material and I will assign simple V-Ray here. Why v 2 sided material? Because the 2 sided material will help the light to cross the way. And again I will take my new v 2 sided material or maybe v material simple just to create this screen I have a screen texture which is here so I have applied the screen texture I'm gonna take apply texture on the back side as well which is I have already designed in the Adobe Photoshop like this This time sofa set. I will texture only one sofa then I will duplicate them. So I'm going to take the new material and uh, I have to download a fabric texture which is this. So I'm going to download them and apply them. 
So I'm gonna apply a UVW map just to adjust the texture in a proper way. Same UV texture map on the every part. Okay, so this will be my chrome texture. Remove the furnace check. Okay, so I'm going to delete all this extra sofas. Now this is the, my textured sofa, so I'm going to duplicate this textured sofa on everywhere. Okay. The same texture I will apply white color, okay, blue color, and I will take these legs of this table. I will apply chrome texture. Okay, it's for the glass. I'm gonna duplicate this chrome texture and I will only increase the refraction. So it will be glass. That's perfect. So this time for the chair, I'm going to isolate them. I'm going to select them uh, with the polygons. Okay, like this, I have selected all the polygons in under the chair. I will apply this color. My chrome texture, convert to poly and press control I. Control I to inverse the selection and I will apply blue color, clear blue without reflection. So I will delete this behind, I will duplicate them. So I'll take the duplicate of this logo as well and I will place in front of the table. <laughs> Here I will have to create the place for the lights. So now I'm going to make it uh, chamfer to create this space of lights. Like this. And I will insert them and then I will extrude inside. Just is the place of to place lighting. So now the time is to select the border of these lights. And I will apply white color here. And I will apply the white color on the border as well. So according to the shading and texturing, I've already completed my work. So this time is for the lighting. I will take the video light and I will place video light in every box. <laughs> take the duplicates here and also apply here as well. And I will take duplicate as well, once again, in the table. Okay, so let's create a cylinder for the studio light setup. And apply a camera also. 
something like this. Okay, so we have to place one light as well. Create this gray color. And take the V-ray light on the top. And now the render, voila.